flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm, and today I'll be making bouquets with this selection of flowers. It's my bouquet CSA finale. That means it's week five of my flower membership. So my members get five weeks of fresh cut flowers. They pay in advance of the season, and then they enjoy the flowers during the season. And this is all of the buckets that I harvested with my helper, Miranda, earlier in the week. It was actually yesterday, so you should have seen this harvest video. If you haven't, I'll link it above for you guys. So let's talk about, if you missed that video, quickly go over what I have here. I have this gorgeous Lysanthus. I have Sweet William, Scabiosa, Sweet Annie, lots of sweet stuff going on today. I have Status, Celosia, four buckets of Zinnias, Gladiolas, and then over in the back here, I have a huge bucket of Gomfrina. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload this stuff, bring it up on the porch, and then I'll be making the bouquets this morning. Spinning the books. Sweet William, Scabiosa, and Sweet Annie. One bucket of Glads. Two bucket of Glads. Ah, ah, ah. Gomfrina. <laughs> Zinnias. Status. Marzins, and finally the Lysianthus. But I think I want to do a little bit of a photo shoot with this before uh, we mix up the colors a little bit better. Oh yeah, we need to do a photo shoot. Okay, Lysianthus has had her close up. <laughs> Now that I have everything up here on the porch, I have about an hour to make these bouquets, which it's doable. I just sometimes get a little bit long-winded when I'm making the books. <laughs> I mean, I can make them really fast when I'm not making a video about them, but when I'm making bouquets and I'm telling you guys everything that I'm doing, it takes a little bit longer. So I have all of my beautiful ingredients up here on the porch. I am just going to uh, go to what speaks to me. These ones are gonna be good. They're gonna be good, and I know I'm gonna have so many flowers left over that I might end up having a bouquet bar. Uh, that might be happening. We didn't harvest as much as we could have. All right, let's, where are we starting? My eyes are immediately going to the dark gladiolas. So I'm grabbing a couple of dark glads. Yep. And then here's one that's a little bit less open and then I need to offset that darkness with the light. <sighs> okay, wow, already wow. Okay, we're bringing in, I'm gonna bounce off the dark again with the chartreuse of the zinnias and then these queen limes, this one. This I have I basically feel the same about it as I do the Roseanne Brown. They complement each other so well. I think I'm gonna put one of these dark glads back and bring in a white one, or a lighter one. Bringing in that peachy, peachy pinky coral. Peachy pinky coral allows me to bring in one of these champagne lily lizzies. Yup, okay, and then I'll probably find a coral gla uh, zin. Yes, here's a beautiful coral zin. <sighs> no, unfortunately this one's got a little bit of uh, brown on the lower petals here. It has a couple of brown spots, so I'm not gonna wanna use that. Uh, also, sometimes you can remove the lower brown petals. Yeah, let's just do that. There were only two petals. There's a third that have a couple brown spots. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove those two. And that looks beautiful. We are bringing in, let's bring in a peach. This is like a peach status. So because there are so many stems on this, I'm taking this one, tearing it off, tucking it down. Same thing over here. Taking it off, tucking it in and then tucking the larger part in the back. Oh, there, now it's bouncing through the whole thing. Speaking of bouncing through the whole thing, we gotta get some gomph in here. Gomph, gomph, gomph it up. We are awesome with that. We will sprig it up with some amazing Sweet Annie. 
I'm gonna go with one on each side. Oh, that scent is heavenly. So far, so far we are looking good. Anything else that I should be adding? I'm looking at these and I think one of the fuchsia Sweet Williams in the front would be fantastic. Okay, one more coral zin right here to the front and I feel fantastic about that. Let's wrap it up. I have my bouquet cutter over here. I have my flower food, my rubber bands, and I have pre-folded 13 sheets of paper because that is how many I need to get me through the session. Oh wow, where's my staples? Staplers over here, oops. Bring it over here. And I'm even so prepared this morning that I have all of my buckets for my bouquets lined up here. Number two. Pink. This one is amazing. Double pink and a white. Yup, pink, pink, white. We're gonna hop in with like a champagne and then like the green. There is a um, tarnished plant bug in there. We need to get rid of it. I'm gonna go more with the pink. This cute little Dublini pink. And then I'm popping over here to the Sweet William right away and grabbing a couple stems of that. Scabiosa in the back. We're gonna go with one pink and then a couple of whites, bring in the white. I'm also gonna grab a white status for this one as well. There is an abundance of white status and it just looks so good, especially with this like dark magenta fuchsia color. We're gonna go for this one up, but I'm gonna grab some of the lighter pink ones to add contrast. These are my favorite. These trifecta, triton, or a chicken foot, depends on how you look at it. These are my favorite because uh, they have multiple heads. Now let's add the pink zins, and I'm gonna do a combination of a lighter pink zin and the wine-colored zin, the dark, dark, dark. Wow, yeah, that's beautiful. And I'm gonna add a pop of chartreuse too because every book needs chartreuse. Got all the pinks with just a touch of white. Some sweet Annie. I didn't harvest any basil this week. I figured they mostly had basil every week throughout this entire CSA and I wanted to bring the sweet Annie in so that everyone was able to experience that as well. I will harvest basil for the farmer's market, however. I'm gonna add a, a Roseanne Brown in here. Yup, okay. Anything else? Let's just do a sprig of celosia in the corner. Yes, I love the foliage of this celosia, the dark foliage. It reminds me of like a nine bark or something. It's, or a mahogany splendor hibiscus. It's just perfectly dark. Adds that contrast. There's number two. Beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. So far I've got a little bit of the corally pinks going, so let's do something different. Let's do purple. I'd like to do a purple and orange bouquet today. So I'm gonna go ahead and make that happen. So we've got a couple of these dark lads that are opening up, and then there's this purple, wow, that is already open. So I'm gonna grab these three, add some purple lisianthus. Wow. I'm gonna right away add a white status just so we get it in here in the middle all right we've got a couple of very large and beautiful um, zinnias in the purple family so i'm going to add two of those and then i'm going to come in here with the with the orange there's just something about the orange and purples that i love together look at the size of these they're just huge and beautiful I have one sprig of orange celosia that I can add in here. This is coming out. That is screaming too much pink for me. 
this one is a little bit more purple for sure. I don't love the orange. I don't love the orange with it. I'm gonna have to just do an orange bouquet because this is not vibing how I wanted it to vibe. Okay, the orange isn't vibing well. So I removed the vibe, the orange vibe, which orange is one of my favorite colors, so that's a bummer. So I am going to just add more purple and chartreuse to this. And this shall be lovely. Okay. I'm gonna add another Lysianthus in the chartreuse family. This green is so good. Bounces off of all the colors. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. This glad is a little bit twisted, sister. There. Okay. Okay, couple more shades of purple. These ones are beautiful. And then I have some scabiosa. I think I'm gonna get in the purple here with the scabs, couple of them. Different shades, this one's awesome. The Gomfrina, I'm gonna go with the lighter. I do have a few sprigs of white in here. We'll do a white and then a light pink. No, 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 no. And then this purple neon Amazon. Oh, I'm really loving the way that that's coming out. I'm gonna tuck this Lysanthus down a little bit. It's kind of, put it in the middle right there. That way the other stuff's kind of hugging it. I have status. I'm gonna do one more purple Lysanthus. And Sweet Annie. Those are a little bit smaller sprigs, so I'm gonna add a third. Purpley chartreuse. Can't wait for these glads to open up. Also, my battery is blinking, so let me go change the battery. Well, hi. I started to make this bouquet and then realized I never pushed record. <laughs> I just grabbed some gladiolas. This one was the one I was pointing out to you earlier. Look at the color on that one. And I said, this bouquet is gonna be super easy to put together because these colors are screaming to be combined together. Uh, so I'm gonna just pop them all in here. A lot of these darker corals, uh, I think they're actually the salmon color. And then a lot of the chartreuse zinnias, really, really, really looking great together. I'm gonna grab a couple of these chartreuse green lysianthus, and then also cannot forget a stem of the champagne lysianthus, which is just oh, really, really amazing. Okay, we need to grab a stem. Oh, you know what? The white looks great. The white status looks great with this. So I'm gonna grab a couple of those. And I also, want to add a Roseanne Brown. Just bringing that shade in. A couple of these Sweet Williams will complement. Oh wow, they complement the corals so nicely. And then look at these dark scabiosas. These dark ones, pops of the dark in this book. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Who else? I think a stem of the Celosia would look nice with this one too. It has that beautiful color on top. It's kind of a little bit of a disappointment this year that the plumes are not as big as years past, but that's okay, they're still usable. They still last in the vase. Sweet Annie, Gomp. I'm gonna see what yeah, I'm using the red, the Strawberry Fields Gumfrina in this. Just for some added interest, that looks great. And then one stem of Sweet Annie here, and one on the other side. And um, this book, I think, is my favorite so far. 
Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that's four. We have eight left. Nope. We have nine left. <laughs> I've been dying to work with this glad. Dying. And I think that one is a perfect compliment to it. Check this one out. Wow. I'm gonna add one that's not as open. Uh, again, corals. Corals, corals, corals. And greens. Corals and greens this week. It's a good combo. Grab that Lizzie. So this is an example of a Lizzie that is spent. It's a lower one. It's got a lot of browning on the side of it. So I'm just going to pop that one off. Usually they come off a little bit easier than this. <laughs> it was a struggle. But that one just has, I know it's hard to see, but it's there. It's the, the edges are browned and it looks a little wilty. So I'm taking that off and I'm adding the beautiful stem to the book. I'm loving the apricot with this as far as status goes. So I'm gonna go sneak that right in. Obviously we need an apricot Lysianthus. Yes, we need this Sweet William is just earning its pay. I think I paid maybe $12 for my Sweet William seed in total. Look at the size of this Sweet Annie stem. That would be so overwhelming. I'm putting it in. Whew. I wish they were all that big, to be honest. That's so good. For the Gomfrina, I'm gonna use the Carmine. The scent right now that I'm getting off of this Sweet Annie is amazing. I feel like this one needs another Zinnia. How can I not add this one to match the Gomf? And then maybe this one in the back. I mean, I have enough, right? Why not? This zinnia right here is one of my favorite. It has um, like a purple hue to it. Oh, there's a spider. Can you, you can see it against my shirt. Ding, 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 ding. He's a crab spider. I'm gonna go put him down on this dead Lysianthus. So he's here, he's gonna live on this. There you go. I need a dark scab in here too. Yep. Let's do another dark one. And this, I'm drawn to this right here. Look at this one. Has that dark throat. I think it looks really nice. Ooh, there's another one. So I can use two of that. Bringing in the status immediately and this peach, two stems of this chartreuse. A Roseanne Brown. Oh, this one feels airier. I really like it already. Oh, romantic. I'm gonna use a bunch of these to complement the darks and the lights and the Roseannes. Uh, yep. More of those over here. Two stems of this Sartreuse. A Roseanne Brown. Oh, this one feels airier. I really like it already. Oh, romantic. I'm gonna use a bunch of these to complement the darks and the lights and the Roseannes. Uh, yep. More of those over here. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. Uh-huh. Hello. Oh, this one's got too much brown on it. I'm sorry. This one does not. I don't want to put any Sweet William with this. I think that's too bold. I think I might want to put this, yeah. So this Celosia obviously should have a bigger plume. The weather this year is just not cooperating, but this is a gorgeous mimosa color. We are going to put that right there. These should be big. It's, it's a bummer, but it is what it is. Can't do anything about it. And I'm gonna use a magenta one on the other side to tie everything in. And let's go with, yeah, let's go with the Carmine Gomp. I feel like 
there's one more Sweet Annie. That's what it, I'm like, well, there's something missing. Uh, the finishing touch that the Sweet Annie is doing this week is making me so happy. It's just adding um, that whimsical dance. This is my favorite. That is my favorite. Hands down so far today. I shall keep it. No, I can't. <laughs> If, if I was given this bouquet, I would probably swoon over it. Mm. Dark purples again. Do this one. This one. And how about one of those? Oh, you're new. I have yet to see this one open. That's gorgeous. Still a lot of additional life left and also these two glads <laughs> i'm actually going to put a, a, a sprig of purple status in here i love this purple status it is so good looking baby what you got cooking okay now we're going to surround it with some lighter pops let's go with some of this. <laughs> I will do one stem of purple azianthus because how can you not? And then I have some lighter purple elements up here that I can add. Uh huh. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. One more on the back side. Don't want any of the sweet William in this one either, I don't think. You know what would have been good is Adjuratum, but I didn't even cut any Adjuratum today. All right, I actually do like the neon um, one on each side. I actually do. See, sometimes you just don't know until you know, until you do it. This is lovely. Sweet Annie. Bum, bum, bum. Coming in a close second. This one. Yeah. With a black C. Okay. No. I think the white. Fuchsia with the white. Whoa. All right. So we need to get a big old stem of white status in here. That's not white. Mm -hmm. All right, white status, white status. We are gonna go with the Rosa. I think I'm just gonna do these Dublinis with this one. They're so cute. The Dublini Lysianthus, they're like a miniature Lizzie. This one's past its prime, but the one on top is lovely. And then I will do, here I have a random pink Lysianthus that looks amazing. And then I also have this, I don't know what this is. Oh, the sun just is peeking out, it's early. This one is kind of stripey. Like, I mean, not just kind of stripey, it's stripey. This is an anomaly in my field and it's really beautiful. So we're gonna add that. The sun is shining through. We're going to use the purple Sweet William. I say it's purple, but it's really a pink. Oh, sorry. So sorry. This might be the most perfect specimen of a zinnia that I have here today. Let's use the light pink scabiosa. Sweet Annie. It needs gomph. Let's use the bicolor rose. I haven't used this yet this year. Check this out. It's a bicolor, beautiful gomph. So it has, let me get it together. Let me get it together. It has the pink and then the white on top. Oh, yes. That is stunning. Wish it was ready sooner. So it just took a while to get the length that I needed it. And of course, just gonna throw a little Roseanne Brown in for good measure. I'm just getting hit by the sun, guys. 
it's a pinky pink and I love it. <laughs> okay, I really wanna use these orange zinnias. Oh, I guess I could do a white and orange. Is, is there gonna be someone who likes orange that much? How do I use orange zinnias? All right, here's how I'm doing it. Black C, this is not a problem that's new. I've had this problem for a while. Black C, this coral, don't like the coral, I don't like it. This one, I do. Okay. Okay, all right, all right. We're making a bag of Skittles. That's what we're doing. We're making a bag of Skittles. We are putting all of the colors in. This is gonna be a heavy zinnia bouquet. And I am gonna add a purple stem of Lysianthus. Oh wow, this beautiful yellowy peach status works perfect. Why not? Why not? This bag of Skittles needs that. And of course it needs Sweet Annie. Okay, this <laughs> is how I'm incorporating orange. I'm making a bag of Skittles. I mean, that's just what I needed to do. You guys look amazing. That color is so good. Gomp, gomp. I'm gonna use the dark purple. I have not even used this yet, guys. Look at this one. Oh, I think it might be Audrey purple. It's, it's dark and it's delicious. Okay, let me add a few stems of this. Got that. Here. 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 And there. My poor son yesterday, he, one of his chores was to sweep off my stems from the porch. And I'm making a fresh mess. There. All of the color. I love it. Honestly, the zinnias are probably last forever too. They've been, you know, they've got a really nice face life. All right, more pinks. We're doing more pinks. This is a beautiful glad. Use a light pink. One of these cool new ones as well. Let's do the pink status. Let's pink it up. Let's see these. Oh, wow. I know I say that a lot, but oh, wow. Let me use this big white zin. And a couple dark ones just to add some interest. Actually, I'll do that with the Sweet William as well. Let's go with the, the light, light pink for the Gomfrina. And a stem of white, why not? Oh, and a dark one. It was there, why not? Scabiosa! A few white ones. And a dark one. Dark one right there. Sweet any, sweet any. Sweet any, sweet any. Um, yes, please. And there's so many hidden things to see. You know, once your eye starts to look, there's the unopened Lysianthus buds, there's the Gomfrina hidden, there are, like, there's, there's a Roseanne Brown right here. Like, these things are gonna move around in the vase and just get, kinda be a surprise. I couldn't think of a better way to start my morning. It's beautiful. And if you think about it, when I was saying earlier how the Sweet William has earned its keep, I mean, I remember starting those seeds and it feels like it was yesterday. It honestly feels like I just started those seeds. The season's almost over with. I have no idea how many more weeks of flowers I'm going to have before the frost comes. I do have some stuff inside the hoop house, but I don't know how much of a season extension I'm going to get because it's my first year with a hoop house. I guess we will just wait and see. It's all about learning experiences and adjusting and shifting for the following seasons as you know things go well and things go poorly. Let me do one with more whites. I haven't done a lighter bouquet yet, but um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Remember that 
amazing bouquet that we made with Veda that was zero color, it was all whites and greens. That one didn't get taken from the CSA. So what happens when I bring my bouquets somewhere is um, all of my CSA members get to choose the bouquet based on their arrival time. So, and if you don't pick up your bouquet, it's then donated and the donation is decided by the location where my flowers are. So the YMCA in Rome will either give it to one of their members, send it across the street to the nursing home or keep it and add it as an extra display on their front desk. So last week when I dropped flowers off, I walked in there and I noticed that there were two bouquets set up. So I knew someone had forgotten to pick up their flowers the week before. And the front one was like a purpley pink bouquet. And then the, the one in the back on the front desk was the all white bouquet. So none of the members chose the one that we all thought was the most beautiful, which is interesting. So just because we're attracted to something doesn't mean other people are going to be attracted to the same thing. Of course, other people are going to be attracted to it, but it doesn't mean the majority of people are going to be attracted to it. I was a little bit bummed, but uh, but that's okay. That's the way it goes. So the, the, all the people who go to the YMCA on a daily basis were able to enjoy that bouquet. So I guess, I mean, that's a good thing, right? So it makes me hesitate to make something similar because I know none of my members chose it. But I am going to make a white book. Definitely have the white glads, but we're going to add some color to this bouquet. Oh, yes we are. Let's start with some purple status. And some purple Lysianthus. I'm loving the purple and white vibe. And just usually I have it be mostly purple with a little bit of white. So I think I'm gonna change it up today and it be mostly white with a little bit of purple. That is feeling like, uh-huh. That's what I wanna do. I'm grabbing Annie earlier. Since I'm standing here grabbing the Scabiosa, I might as well grab the Annie. And this is going to be a lot of chartreuse in here. A lot of that chartreuse. So these chartreuse ones have a very light purple center. Can't go wrong there, right? Oop, got stuck. Okay, there. There. This is a lovely lilac zin. Just enough purple, I think. And who else? There is a light purple. I think I'll grab a roseanne brown, because how can you not? Oh, this champagne Lizzie has got a broken neck. I'm sorry. It'd make a great boutonniere. Yes, it would. <laughs> Let's grab some more. Ooh, there's white gumfrina. Uh, these gumfrina, some of them were cut a little bit short. Oh, there's a longer one. Okay. Grab another couple of the chartreuse zins. Yeah, I think that might be decent. There's a white zin. Grab that. Oops, dropped the gump. Oh, wow, yeah, that's lovely. Adding one dark scabiosa to this side and then one dark scabiosa to the other side just for a little bit more of a contrast and it kind of plays off the center of those zins. So, so it's a purpley goodness. Let's get this all settled in. Oh no, I'm out of rubber bands. I know there must be one on the floor. There's one. I knew it wouldn't let me down. Okay. Look at that. Okay, two more. I didn't do a red. I don't really have the red, Liz, the red glads. Here are some. Okay, there's, okay, this is getting put back actually. All right, so I have, the red that's showing, and then some that are not showing. And then I have all of these reds in here that I'm adding to this red book. Oh my gosh, wow. Peach status in the red book. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. 
I'm not even going to put any of the brightness. I'm just adding Roseanne Lysianthus to this. The red fall family. This one's so folly. So folly. Oh, my alarm's going off. Wow. I really do feel like I should put a little bit of chartreuse in here though. So I will put a chartreuse lysianthus on each side. Oh wow, well this one's got two, so that's coming with me. And then a couple of the chartreuse zins that don't, so there are two different, this is the green envy I believe. The, this is the green zinnias with the green centers. So there's the green zinnias with the purple centers and then the green zinnia with the green centers. Okay, that is awesome. I'm drawn to this because I am ready for fall. I don't know about you guys, but I am 100% ready to take a break. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta find another rubber band. Come on. Oh wait, my Dickies belt. I usually have them in here. Do I not? <laughs> that means I need one more. There's gotta be one more in my Dickies belt. All of the reds. Sweet Annie! I'm like smelling it. I'm like, it doesn't smell like anything. Oh, sweet Annie. And putting them through the rubber band at the bottom. There. And then I'll just need to trim off the extra. There. With some sweet Annie sprigs. Who's coming with me? Let's see what I have so much of. I have so much of that fuchsia. Fuchsia. So I will grab some of the fuchsia. Why don't we do a monochrome again with the pink? I think so. This one's not open yet. We'll use this. And we'll use a pinky pink status. Uh, I love it. And we'll go with more of the Roseanne. Oh, she just goes with everything, guys. She just does. That is one stem. Except for this one is a little bit old. There. Okay. Can't forget the sweet Annie this time. <laughs> Beautiful with these pink scabs. Yes, I know it sounds awful. Oh yes, I'm adding these sprigs of celosia. Imagine if these were what they should be. But they're good enough for me right now. Can't complain. Who do we have? Gamfrina. I am not mad at this. I'm gonna add a couple of the Chartreuse Zins with the, the darker centers. Um, yeah, that just, that just went from zero to 60 real quick. Look what that did to the front. Yeah, about. <laughs> okay, I got Comfrina, I got Status, I got Roseanne Brown. I have, I mean, I have Lysianthus. Is there any of the, there's Roseanne Brown. Are there any more? There are more? There are more Lysianthus other than Roseanne Brown? We done. Oh yeah, the rubber band situation. What's the over under on me finding another one in this pouch? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> it's not pretty, it's kind of dirty and it's not the right size. It's a little bit more stretchy than the other ones. So, okay. Sometimes I run out of rubber bands and I forget to order them. So I have to go to the dollar store and get rubber bands. So they're random sizes. That's amazing i think this one needs her picture taken to be honest with you here we are these are the final csa bouquets of the fall summer session really it should just be the late summer season i'm um, really 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 loving how they came out i think the members are going to be super happy <sighs> and i am too and i just want to thank you guys for um, sticking around with me through this season. It's been really, really, really busy between my, my CSA, doing my hoop house for the first time, and then purchasing the nursery. That was something that came out of nowhere late winter. I did not anticipate that happening. That wasn't, that wasn't in my plans until March 13th when I drove by that place and said, 
think I want to buy that. So that was such um, an unexpected event and it kind of shook things up here at the farm. I wasn't able to make all the videos that I wanted to. I wasn't able to share all the things that I wanted to, but I think I still was able to share quite a bit and I have so much more to share with you guys along the way. Thank you guys for sticking with me throughout the dirty lily season. Yeah, this is an old reference. So if you guys don't know this, I um, let me go get the example. Dirty Lily is an old reference to one of my videos from years ago. Um, these right here will drop pollen on the dirty, on the lily and make it dirty. And so I used to get really frustrated when I was too late to remove those. And uh, so I started a hashtag Dirty Lily <laughs> as a joke, but it ended up uh, kind of trending for a little bit. And I thought I should, needed to make a t-shirt. This is an Asiatic unscented lily. So many people say, oh, I love lilies, but I can't take the smell and neither can my customers. There are unscented lilies that you can get. This one right here is an unscented lily. There is zero aroma coming from this. So this would be a good choice for you guys, for your customers. I think it's called an AXA lily. It's a hybrid between, I think, uh, an Asiatic and something else I cannot remember off the top of my head. But I was able to purchase these through awnings, O-N-I-N-G, S O N I N G S Onings America and they are able to ship lilies I think almost 12 months a year. This is gorgeous. Anyway, thanks guys for sticking around. We'll see you soon with more flower and nursery updates.